today I'm gonna share with you five tips that are gonna help you become a better painter. Hello friends and welcome again to another video. Today I will share with you five things that will make you a better artist. So let me tell you a little bit about me. I'm actually an animator. I've been working as an animator for more than 10 years, but also I love painting and I've been painting even before I started animating. So I really wanna share with you these five tips that are going to make you a better artist. And honestly, I wish I knew these tips because when I started, I was doing a lot of mistakes. So let's just start with this list and let's just start with the first tip. So my first tip is learn the foundations, learn the fundamentals. These are the things that you have to learn to actually become a really good artist. I remember when I started animating and painting, I wanted to create the best paint, the best short film and a movie. I want to do everything. But to be honest, I didn't even know how to animate or how to paint. And that's the reason why I'm telling you that you should learn the fundamentals of painting. In this case, learn about color, learn about perspective, learn about composition, learn about how light makes color react and how light changes color. So learn all these things that are going to make you a better artist. And remember to keep practicing the fundamentals always. Like even if you're a really good painter, get back to it, get uh, back to the foundations and practice them. These are the things that are gonna make you even a better and better artist. So I hope you really follow this one and let's go to the point number two. So number two is to start with a limited palette. What do I mean with a limited palette? What, what is a limited palette? A limited palette means that you are not using all the colors that you can find around. It is basically just four or five colors or depending how limited is your palette, but this is just going to help you understand how color mixes, how you can create other colors with just the basic colors. So let's say you want to do figure painting or you want to do portrait painting. So there is a really famous palette by Anderson, which is the Zorn palette. This is named after him. He was a painter, a Swedish painter, and he was really good and he used only this palette for most of the time. And basically it is only four colors. So we are going to need titanium white, ivory black, yellow ochre and viridian or red cadmium. So these are only four colors that he used and trust me, you can get so many colors just from this palette. So if you can, try a limited palette. And the reason why I'm saying this is because you will have way more control with a limited palette than with a bunch of colors because when you have all the colors you're just going to try to match the color with the same colors that you have in your palette play with the colors that you have you're going to have a better understanding of painting and colors so i really recommend you this one i hope you follow this one too and let's go to the third tip let's go to the third point and this point is going to be very similar to the past one if you are new and you're experimenting you're a student you're going to make mistakes so I recommend you to not buy the most expensive tools and art supplies. Let's be honest, art supplies are pretty expensive. So don't worry about it, just go with something simple. You don't have to buy the worst, obviously, because we also want to make good stuff, good art. But don't go and buy the most expensive supplies. The tools and the supplies are not going to make you a better artist. Remember point number one, learn the fundamentals. Those are the things that are gonna make you a better artist. I just want you to become the best painter you can. So trust me, you don't need to buy the most expensive supplies. I'm gonna also leave a list in the description below so you can find some good materials, but not really expensive. I don't wanna make you go bankrupt or spend all your money buying supplies. So I hope this point works for you and you understand what I'm saying. So let's go to point number four. So point number four, don't use solvents. If you're working indoor at your place, don't use solvents because these are pretty bad. Like if you don't have good ventilation, this is not going to be really good for your health, especially if you live in a small apartment or in a small place. There are a lot of alternatives that you can use and they work pretty much the same as all the other solvents. Now, if you're working outside, maybe you can use some solvents. It's not the end of the world 
but always be careful. And remember that I did a guide before on how to paint safely at home. And if you wanna check it out, I'll leave you the description on the video. And remember that oil painting is honestly pretty safe, but you just need to know what you're using and you need to understand how your materials and your supplies work. So remember that if you're working indoors, do not use solvents or try to limit them as much as possible. They are not going to kill you but they might harm you a bit and you might not be satisfied with that so let's go to the fifth point and this is the last point for today and for number five what I want to tell you is don't be afraid of making mistakes I remember this happening to me I had a lot of sketchbooks that are absolutely white no drawing because I was scared of ruining the sketchbook but to be honest you have to make mistakes you have to experiment and you have to create a lot of bad art to actually make good art so don't be afraid of experimenting of making mistakes don't be afraid of ruining your sketchbooks and don't worry you can always buy a new one you can always get a new sketchbook and you can always try again so this is super important if you want to become a better painter if you want to become a better artist don't be afraid of making mistakes and don't be afraid of ruining your sketchbooks and not making the best piece of art all the time and well this is my advice i hope you follow it and i hope this works for you and this helps you become a better painter and a better artist and remember that i really want you to succeed as an artist and as a painter so follow these steps i hope they work and if you have any comments or anything you want to say just put it in the comments subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye bye